Hi there and welcome. Have you ever struggled with effectively communicating in a relationship? Do you often feel others aren't listening well to you? Well, one of the best things we can do when we feel someone in our life isn't listening to us well is to focus on being a better listener toward them. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. Communication in our relationships is everything, and unfortunately, most of us aren't ever formally taught how to communicate in an effective way. One of the key components of being a good communicator is being a great listener, and I've got seven tips that can help. I encourage you to think about which tips you are great at and which you could maybe tweak up a bit. Tip one, maintain eye contact when you're listening to someone. This keeps your mind from wandering and communicates that the person has your full attention. Refrain from rolling your eyes, closing your eyes if they seem passive aggressive, looking over their head, or staring at their shoes while they're talking. Tip two, don't engage in other activities when you are listening to another individual. Remember, quality time is giving someone your undivided attention. Tip three, listen for feelings. Ask yourself, what's this person's emotions right now? When you think you have the answer, confirm it. For example, it sounds like you're feeling disappointed because I forgot we'd planned that date night. That gives the person a chance to clarify his or her feelings. It also communicates that you're listening intently to what they're saying. Tip four, observe your body language. Clenched fists, trembling hands, tears, furrowed brows, and eye movement may give you clues as to what the person is feeling. Sometimes body language speaks one message while the words speak another. Ask for clarification to make sure you know what the person is really thinking and feeling. Tip five, refuse to interrupt. Focus on listening to listen rather than listening to respond. Tip six, express understanding. Others need to know that they have been heard and understood. Finally, tip seven, ask if there's anything that you might do that would be helpful. Notice that you are asking, not telling the other person what he or she ought to do. Never give advice until you are sure the other person wants it. Remember, communication is everything and we can all work on being a better listener. Thank you so much for your time and I hope that you found this video helpful. Tell us in the comments below if you tried these tips this week. If the video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this.